Okay, so our next topic is polysaccharides. And polysaccharides are polymers of many monosaccharides. The most common types of polysaccharides are starch and cellulose. Within uh, starch, uh, um, there are a couple of different polysaccharides, but of course you uh, might be able to come up with the most common sources of starches, including uh, you know foods, potatoes, uh, pastas, flour, uh, things like that. Uh, the two types of starch or two types of polysaccharides within the starch family are amylose and amylopectin. And both of these uh, polysaccharides which in the within the starch family are polymers of glucoses, uh, they just differ in how they are linked uh, between the different monosaccharides. Uh, amylose it takes up about 20% of starch. And of course that means amylopectin is about 80% of starch. Cellulose, on the other hand, is the uh, major contributor to a lot of structural uh, features of plants. And so these are mostly uh, found as structural components in plants. And cellulose is just mainly, for the most part, polymers of or polymers of glucose monosaccharides. Um, and again, the big difference between starch and cellulose is the linkage between those monosaccharides. And of course, the other big difference between starch and cellulose is that, of course, humans we can eat starch, whereas we can't eat cellulose. And the big reason is again the linkage between them. As I said, another uh, important uh, polysaccharide is uh, glycogen. And this is sometimes referred to as uh, animal starch. Uh, glycogen is uh, stored in the liver and muscles of animals, including us. And again, it is primarily just a polymer of glucose. stored uh, in animals. Okay, so let's take a look, a closer look at uh, cellulose and starch and see what the big difference uh, in those polysaccharides are. All right, so cellulose uh, versus starch. Here's uh, uh, just a quick cutout of a cellulose and starch molecule. Uh, these polymer would continue on either ends to connect with more uh, glucose monosaccharides. And of course the big difference between these two is the linkages. The alpha 1,4-glycosidic bond occurs in starch. So this is a, a short sequence of a starch polysaccharide. Uh, when the glucose molecules are linked up within a beta 1,4 glycosidic bond, that is what forms cellulose. And that very small but very important difference between these two polysaccharides is what us enables to metabolize starch, and whereas we can't metabolize cellulose. We can't eat grass, but we can't eat potatoes. Uh, our enzymes our proteins in our body that catalyze uh, uh, biochemical reactions can metabolize 
polysaccharides with alpha-1,4 glycosidic bonds, whereas they cannot metabolize the beta-1,4 glycosidic bond. As we're going to see when we talk about proteins, uh, enzymes, a big uh, reason how and why they metabolize some molecules and not others is shape. And the alpha versus beta glycosidic linkages create very uh, molecules with very different shapes, some of which our body can metabolize, others that we can't.